Hey guys, today I'm going to be ranking cars from Mickey in Minnie's Runaway Railway. I guess we're going to start off this instantly, so here's my rankings. We're going to start from the highest to lowest, so let's start with the best and the worst reasons on each car. Now first, we'll start with the highest, which is car 2. Now let's start off with the best reasons. You're not as late on the scenes. Well, except for car 4, which is I'll talk about much later in this video. Basically like car 1, so yeah, that's all the reasons I think I could think of. Now time for the worst reasons for car 2. Number 1, you won't really see Pluto except on some scenes. I know, I mean, you really kind of need Pluto to understand the, the whole story, but I feel like on car 2, you can kind of still understand it. Number 2, it's kind of fast as car 1. Yep, it's kind of fast as car 1, but... I guess I'll say that you still kind of understand the full story because, hey, at least car 2 is basically kind of behind car 1. Now, I think that's all the reasons. Now, it's time to move on to the middle section, which is car 1 and car 3. So, here's one of the best reasons. So, first off, let's start with car 1. Here's the best reasons. Number 1. Yeah, I don't think there's any best reasons for car one. Now for the worst reasons for car one. Number one. Car one is freaking too fast. Number two. You can't say Pluto. He's literally not existing in the entire ride. Now, time to be in car three. Number one. I mean, you're kind of like car four, but you're not really because, hey, at least you're one of the cars that are ahead of car four. Number two, you kind of get to see the extended scenes, which is I feel like nobody cares about, but I just want, but if you love extended things, then I guess I put it in the best, one of the best reasons. Now, I think there's no worst reasons because I don't even know if there's a worst or a bad reasons of it. So, let's just move on to the worst, worst side, which is car four. Now, let's get on the sad, bunk, stupid, crusty car four. Number one, there is no good reason for car four. Well, except for you can see Pluto and probably some ex more extended scenes, but they don't count anyway. Now time for the worst reasons. Number one, you are literally so late on everything. Like every scenes, nope, you are literally Literally on the way back, literally staying on the scenes, being late on everything while the cars are literally ahead of you. Alright, so I know I forgot this, but you could be in the front of the sm smasher scene on car 4, but that doesn't really change everything on me, so still car 4 is a literal crusty, musty, dusty car 4, bro. So just take my words, change my mind. Number 2. Everything is so, 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 so bad. So, yeah. But now let's get into the conclusion. In conclusion, I think car two should be the best one to sit in. And car one and car three should be the mids one to sit in. And car four is the worst one to sit in. Also, Disney, if you're watching this, please remove car four because car three cars is just the best ones.